Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street spoilers for next week. Peter turns violent ahead of exit and Amy prison twist. Coronation Street viewers can expect dramatic scenes on the ITV soap, from prison fears and violence to a new arrival being teased. There's dramatic scenes involving Peter Barlow and some teens amid his exit from the show. Peter lashes out and even has it out with his partner, Carla Connor, as he continues to spiral. Elsewhere, Amy Barlow faces a prison stint after her recent antics, as she is quizzed by the police. Also on Corey, viewers could see a new arrival very soon. Another big plot next week sees bully Mason target youngster Liam, leading to him pulling a knife on him. Here's the biggest moments of the week ahead. Coronation Street is lining up violent scenes for Peter Barlow as he spirals out of control ahead of his exit on the ITV soap. It was recently confirmed by Corey that Peter actor Chris Gascoigne will be leaving his role after more than 20 years, while it's said he will be back at some point. The character is set to bow out from the show fresh from him, accidentally killing Stephen Reed as he tried to halt the serial killer's antics. In the fallout to the death twist, Peter has been struggling, with him once again facing his demons after a battle with alcoholism. As he continues to row with partner Carla Connor next week, an incident with some of the teens leads to him acting out and turning violent. Peter will continue to face his demons in the coming weeks ahead of him bowing out of the show. Next week, viewers will see the character lashing out at Mason and Dylan over some stolen vapes, with him barging into Dylan's house shouting, before grabbing the teenager. Peter is goaded by vile Mason over Stephen's murder, causing him to lose it. After he breaks the door down, he heads straight for Dylan and lashes out, leaving him terrified. As Peter's behavior shocks and worries those around him, can he find a way to deal with his demons, or will he push everyone away? Coronation Street's Amy Barlow faces a potential five years in prison next week, after a mystery incident leaves her being grilled by the police. Earlier this year, Amy was part of a harrowing rape storyline where Aaron Sanford had non-consensual sex with her. Prior to this, the youngster was involved in a hard-hitting drink-spiking storyline where Max Turner accidentally spiked her drink after intending to target Daniel Osborne. In scenes this week, Amy heads to a nightclub where she watches as a guy spikes a woman's drink. Amy charges over, knocks the drink out of her hand, and leads her to the toilets. Amy explains to the woman that she was raped by a man like Dan, and she's trying to protect other women from the same fate. The woman thanks her and leaves. But rather than leaving herself, Amy then approaches Dan and introduces herself in a flirty manner. Next week is the fallout from Amy's nightclub actions, where she and Audie Allahan mull over the events of the night, hoping that when Dan wakes up, he can't remember what happened to him. However, it's not long until D.S. Swain calls and says she needs them both to accompany her to the station. D.S. Swain questions Amy, who demands she wants a solicitor. Later, with Dee Dee present, D.S. Swain resumes the interview and warns Amy that she could be looking at five years in prison. Later, after the police station, Amy thanks Audie for standing by her, to which Audie leans in for a kiss, and Amy reciprocates. But suddenly, she's overcome by a wave of panic. Later in the week, Audie is awkward around Amy. As Dylan heads off, Liam waves to him, but Dylan gives him the cold shoulder and Gary Windus clocks his animosity. Over at school, Dylan warns Mason of Scene's intention to report his missing trainers. Mason and Conch tell Mrs. Crawshaw that Liam stole Dylan's trainers, and as Mrs. Crawshaw opens Liam's locker, he realizes that he has been stitched up. Later, Gary and Maria give Dylan some cash, suggesting he and Liam bury the hatchet and go to the cinema. 
Dylan tells Liam he's sorry about the incident in the school, but when Mason approaches, Liam does a runner. As Liam heads into Victoria Court, Mason, Dylan and his cronies corner him, showering him in rubbish and calling him a rat. When Mason starts taking pictures, Liam knocks the phone out of his hand. Mason then pulls out a knife and threatens Liam in terrifying scenes.